Hi ho, Andrew here, and today I would like to teach you how to identify the removable discontinuity in the following equation of x squared divided by 4, what? x squared minus 4, what the hell am I looking at? x squared minus 4 divided by x minus 2. So, anyway, um, what we want to do, <laughs> the first step, is we want to make sure that we have it in fully factored form, okay? Fully factored form, FFF, fully factored form. Just came up with that on my own, thank you very much. Now, um, if that's how this video is going to go, well, Godspeed. So, fully factored form on the top, all right? So we realize that it's a quadratic equation, and therefore, uh, and it's a perfect square. So we can just do x plus 2, right, and then x minus 2. If you were to FOIL this out, it would work out to be that. And then you're going to divide it then by the fully factored form of the denominator, which is just x minus 2, there's nothing to factor. Now, the reason why we do this is because we want to see if we can cancel anything, right? When you look at this first, it doesn't look like there's anything to cancel. Uh, but as soon as you factor it, you're like, oh, mg-ness, I can cancel this, right? So that's going to be important in terms of identifying our removable discontinuity. Now, a discontinuity is something, um, it's basically, it's going to be a value of x, all right, that causes this function to be discontinuous, right? That there's a problem, with some value of x that makes this thing do something funky. And if you plug in a 2 here for x, what happens to the denominator? That's right, it becomes 0. Can you divide by 0? No, you cannot divide by 0, right? Anything divided by 0 is, huh, question mark, right? We can't do it because whatever the number is on the top, that's not a hashtag. That's actually a number symbol, okay? All you youngins out there. Oh, God. Godspeed. Um, how many times can zero fit into nothing? Hmm? Right? Can't... No, I don't know. Right? How many times does nothing fit into something? It's really not definable. All right? Or you could say an infinite number of times. That's fine. But infinity is an idea. It's not a real number. So, um, anyway, where am I? Right. So, what I'm going to do is I realize that I have a potential discontinuity here at x is equal to then 2. But... Notice how I have this factor and this factor, and they both would cancel. So it's like, huh, if I cancel that, right, then I'm just left with this, that this is equal to x plus 2, okay? And now this, we have indeed removed the discontinuity. We don't have this issue anymore of this denominator being in this function, all right? So we removed this discontinuity that occurs at x is equal to 2. Now we want to kind of give the point, all right, at which um, this removable discontinuity exists. So what you're going to do then is after you identify that removable discontinuity here at x is equal to 2, all you're going to do is you're going to plug it into your function, and it's going to be 2 plus 2, and that's then going to be equal to 4. Okay, so the function's value at 2 is 4. So in other words, you have the coordinate of 2 comma 4. That's where the discontinuity will lie, okay? That's where it will lie. So here, let's take a look. Go to your calculator now and graph graph the original function. All right. Plug in x squared, x squared minus 4. All right. Then divide it by now x minus 2. All right. x minus 2. And then hit graph. Now look, it looks like a beautiful line. Right. And actually, it turns out that it, it's basically the same thing as the equation we have uh, over here. That y, remember f, f of x is really just saying y. y is equal to x plus 2. So watch, I'm also going to graph that. I'm going to go down here and just write in x plus 2. I'm going to hit enter or graph. And look, it put a red line over the blue line, right? Red line over the blue line. So um, my friend's brother actually opened up a deli called the Blue Line Deli. It's great. If you live in New York on Long Island, check it out. Okay, so now watch. I'm going to go to the table function. So here, hit second graph to get the table. Now, if you notice... Everything matches up perfectly between the first function I, I graphed and the second function, right? But there's one little issue. What does it say here? Error, right? What does it say here? Error. Error. You ever watch Whose Line Is It Anyway? What the hell's wrong with my brain today? I can't focus. I apologize. But what, what is it? It reminds me of some skit on Whose Line Is It Anyway? Ho oh, horror. Horror. If you know what I'm talking about, leave a comment below. Great show, by the way. If you love comedy, it's such a great improv television show. Um, anyway, there's an error uh, over here at x is equal to 2. Well, that's because there is a discontinuity, but we were able to kind of remove it through this 
uh, division of sorts. All right. So there is something going on funky at that particular location. And if I were to go back to the graph, right, I would go over two and up four. And it's kind of happening somewhere around that, that region. Okay. All right. I, I, sure. I'm going to conclude the video there. All right. So guys, thanks so very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Uh, listen, we started a membership uh, to our channel and it would be awesome if you could help support us. We got thousands of videos out there and we try to do it and every little bit can help us keep producing more content for you guys. And uh, if you can't uh, donate, that's not a problem. We love helping you anyway. All right. But if you're able to, if you don't mind giving us a hand, we'd appreciate it so very much. Listen, check out our channel because we got your back no matter what. Take care.